Hey everyone, back again with you uh, for another upgrade video on my Smith & Wesson MMP15T or Tactical. This is video number 9 out of the series I've been doing. If you haven't seen my previous vids, go ahead and jump out to my channel and check those out. Uh, this particular video is going to be dealing with my muzzle brake. Uh, I came with a standard bird cage type muzzle brake on the end. Works effectively. It's a nice muzzle brake if you're just looking for a, you know, a simple, effective, straightforward muzzle brake that reduces climb uh, and reduces the flash of the um, the gun. So, uh, what I want to do is get a little bit fancier. Obviously, the uh, Smith and Wesson M&P 15T is outfitted with a lot of Troy Industries um, gear, such as the front and back flip-up sights. Uh, it also has the Troy Industries rail, forend rail. Um, so I kind of wanted to stick with the Troy Industries as much as possible. They're a great company. A lot of their uh, products are, are very well engineered and well built. Uh, I found this particular uh, muzzle brake online. In fact, I think I got it at Amazon.com. It ran about $45 if I remember correctly. Uh, but it is the Troy Medieval muzzle brake. Uh, and what it says is it's threaded for all M16, AR15, M4 rifles and carbines. Uh, it reduces muzzle climb and felt recoil. It has an aggressive diamond shaped strike face uh, for striking glass or other things. And installs easily. Um, overall, I got to the range. It worked great. I didn't have any issues with it. I did notice it, de it definitely has a larger muzzle flash compared to the regular bird cage that came with the gun. Um, but ultimately, the uh, feel of the gun and the recoil and the climb of the muzzle uh, seem to be um, on par with the regular bird cage type uh, muzzle brake. So, functionality wise, it's just as good. Um, you just get a little bit bigger of a flash. Um, so let's go ahead and as you can see I have the stock one on. I'm going to go ahead and take that off and put the new one on. We can kind of take a look at the differences and how it looks and uh, we'll get a little bit of a close up on this uh, Troy Industries Medieval Muzzle Brake. Alright, so installation of these is very easy. All you really need is a crescent wrench. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is when you are um, unscrewing the muzzle brake um, that you go ahead and put some sort of um, like a rag over the muzzle brake itself to kind of prevent it from scratching um, and really torquing out or, or uh, doing any damage to that muzzle brake with the crescent wrench. So I do have mine off and as you can see here uh, just standard muzzle slotted bird cage type brake there nothing unusual. Compared to the medieval Troy Industries medieval you can see the aggressive groove cones on the top there those are pretty sweet for striking things generally in a tactical situation for breaking glass to get into a car um, but as you can see it's got some nice porting on it has the logo not sure if you're even able to see that but it is quite a bit bigger lengthwise than the original stock bird cage on there which isn't a huge deal It does come with a crush washer. If your gun doesn't already have one with the stock brake on it, if you don't have one, you definitely want to get one. This will secure that muzzle brake in there nice and tight. And it'll it'll also um, allow the muzzle brake to be tightened on there without, you know, wrenching one way or another and uh, really ultimately you need this to be absolutely straight on there so the bullet as it's leaving the the end of the barrel is not striking. Um, this muzzle brake on its way out as you can imagine that would definitely do some damage so uh, those crush washers are very important so I'll go ahead and throw it on here and we'll take a look at it okay so real quick installation as you can see I do have it on there it does protrude a little bit further than the original stock muzzle brake but let's go ahead and see if we can get a close in on this looks pretty good fit nice and snug And it looks pretty cool. Alright guys, hope this helps you identify maybe a, a muzzle brake that will work for you. And uh, appreciate your time. 